Mullumbimby, New South Wales, 1939. Frederick Slater, the president of the Australian Archaeology Society, was dispatched to investigate the discovery of a complex Aboriginal arrangement consisting of 188 standing stones. Slater dubbed the formation the Stonehenge of Australia and became convinced that it was one of the oldest temple complexes in the world, predating those found in Europe and the Middle East. Frederick Slater found that the site he was investigating was part of a larger, much larger site and fitted in very closely with Aboriginal sacred lore, myths and legends. After a time, Frederick Slater began to posit and suggest that instead of out of Africa, that maybe we should re-examine the evolution of man as out of Australia. He took a massive leap and started declaring that in ancient times in Australia, the Aborigines were more advanced than any culture that he could recount on the planet. He was declared almost insane by the rest of the academic community. The landowners were so terrified of the controversy that it implied that it was pretty much destroyed by bulldozers. There are many stone circles uh, throughout the British Isles and Europe. Stonehenge is one of the most well-known and they all have some relationship to astronomical observatories. This Aboriginal Stonehenge would really alter the way we think of the Aboriginals and the sophistication of their society, where they had astronomical and archaeoastronomical structures that helped them monitor the heavens, much as standing stones in Europe would have done. For our people, it went beyond the paintings and the carvings into stone arrangements. We would arrange in certain patterns which relate to the constellation of the stars in regards to our connectedness within the sky world and where we originate from. Could the so-called Aboriginal Stonehenge provide insight into the other stone arrangements found scattered throughout the world? If so, might they serve to provide a permanent record of a significant connection to another world? Uluru Rock, also known as Ayers Rock, is located nearly in the center of the continent, over 1,200 miles from the nearest major Australian city. This geological anomaly is one of the largest isolated rocks in the world. It is over two miles long and rises over 1,100 feet. It is, in fact, the exposed tip of a huge vertical slab of rock that continues below the surface for three miles. It is a huge sedimentary boulder that's gigantic sitting there in the middle of the desert. And geologists cannot really explain how Ayers Rock came to be. It's almost as if it was lifted up from somewhere else and brought to the center of the continent and then just dumped there. For the indigenous population, Uluru is one of their most sacred sites and a place of pilgrimage. They consider it the navel of the earth. For the Aboriginal cosmologies, a lot of times the landscape itself is sort of like the Bible and heaven rolled into one. So in places like Uluru, Ayers Rock, this rock has great significance because they built this into their cultural memory of when the world was formed by sky spirits coming to earth. 